All right, so as I call out things, these are going to be real life scenarios that are integers. And you're going to put it in the negative column, zero column, like a zero number, if it's positive. Because this represents our number line. Because what's always in the middle? Good. What numbers are to the left? Good. All right, 524. Where should that go? All right, if I owe five dollars. That's negative. You said five dollars? Mm -hmm. If I owe somebody five dollars. This is a tricky one. I think that might be you guys are trying to go. Mm -hmm. so if I'm standing at sea level. That's true. That's a tricky one. If I'm standing at sea level. All right, just make a guess. We'll come back to it. What number? You got like put number right now. You can just put C level, and you can put it underneath negative, zero, or positive. And if we need to change it, we will. Good. The number zero. Good. The opposite of seven. What about negative 23? If I earn $20. All right, the sum of 4 and negative 4. Sum of four and negative four. So one's positive, one's negative. What does sum mean? What do you Add. need to do? Mm -hmm. So you've got four and negative four. If you need to write it down, you can. That's zero. You guys are trapped. Could have one negative, one positive, so you guys are trapped. Good. The opposite of negative 12. All right, good job. The only one that gave you a problem was the standing at sea level, but you got it right. Because oh. you get to think zero oh, is zero even. in the middle, so you're standing on it. So in the there you go. So now we're going to take everything that we use in the real life scenario, and we're going to put it on our number line. That was a tricky one. All right, what numbers go to the left? Start on your negative side. What's the first number you need to plot? The, uh, uh, um, hmm? uh, negative five. Mm -hmm. All right, so where should negative five go? Good. So um, put negative five underneath it. There you go. All right, the next one is negative seven. Go ahead and plot that one. All right, now the next one's negative 23. Since we have a short number line, we can just put it at the very end, yeah. That'll work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do it underneath zero, and then you can call that one C level we'll have three of them.
will have three dots on zero. Good. Because then I gave you the number zero, and then we had to find the sum of a positive and a negative number. Okay. All right, so go ahead and plot those positive numbers. units to the right of zero. Where would five go? First, is it positive or negative? It's positive, so it'll still be on the be right on the edge because um, yeah, it'll be, be right here. One, two, three, four, be right here. Alright, good. So plot that one. And you gotta stare at it because zero. Okay. Good. Alright, so what about left of zero. Is that still negative? Good. What if I mix it up? a fraction, is it still an integer? Good. Alright, plot that one. So, and it goes on the other side of the one. Where do you think it goes? Because some, um, like, like, so I said it's just right here, but I don't think it is. Why do you think it would be in the middle of zero and one? This is like zero and one. Mm -hmm. so because if I said one half tells us the same thing, and we can plot it on the number line. It kind of gives you that visual representation. Good. All right, so what is that? All right, so work that out for me and tell me what you get. Tell me if your solution is an integer. All right, so we've got an integer. Where would it go on the number line? So your whole fraction is negative, so you've got negative 3, 6. So negative 3, 6 would be somewhere right here. Mm -hmm. Good. Alright, very, very good. One last thing and we're done. What else can I do to this? Is this reduced all the way? Divide by 2. What? I mean, divide by 3, so you can over it. Negative one over, over negative two. Or negative three. Would it be graphic? 
Yeah, it'd be negative two because you would follow eight divided by three, so positive three, positive three. Both of the negatives would be negative two and negative one. So, so we got one half, and then we also have one half over here. Yeah. Right. So it's opposite. Right there. All right. Good job.